Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I quickly wash my hair. It's a wash day. I'm just quickly going to show you my wash day routine. And um, just to let you know, I have not used shampoo in a very long time. The only time that I use shampoo is if I use um, maybe a hair color and it stains my hair or my hair is too dirty because of hair color and all that. That's the only time I just use shampoo to cleanse it. But for the most part, um, I just use conditioner to wash my hair. So before I start anything I section my hair you can use any conditioner that you want before I used to go for high-end conditioners I don't have time for that anymore nobody ain't got time for that so I just use any conditioner that I find um, in the store today this is what I'm going to use it's my first time using this I mean not the first day but my first time because since I bought it I've used it about two or three times so um, and it costs only $7.99 so um, I'm gonna use that today I don't have time for expensive products anymore I just use whatever I find because you know it's just that so oh I was supposed to section my hair before but that's okay I'm just put this in my hair. Normally, I would section this side into three, just three parts, so that I, it would be clean. So, this is the first part. I'll just put it in very loose twist to avoid too much manipulation. And I would. This is the second part. I'll put that in very loose twist too. I twist that one loosely. I'll come to this part. I'm sorry about that. That's my son. <laughs> And my hair is already a little oily but if you want it to be silky I have olive oil right here I just dip my hand in it and because sometimes if your hair is too dry then you might need some help and oil would be able to offer that help sometimes so you can spray if your hair is too dry before you wash, you can spray some water just to make it softer. My hair was already a little soft. That's why, and it looks like I don't have a lot of conditioner on the other ones. I can put more. So. You can put a towel around your neck. I dip my hand in the oil and just slide it on so that it would be silky and smooth. I think now it's important for me to around my neck because I don't have a lot of conditioner over here my hair might not did I even put conditioner here at all? I don't even remember I think I did but I would add more make sure since this is your conditioner Make sure I 
that you put it underneath your hair, you know, your scalp to cleanse it for you. Before I used to wash my hair every week, but I start. I wash it once a month right now. I don't have time. I used to do too much, now I do too little. Yeah, you make sure you scratch your hair if you have any build up. you put enough conditioner because that is the only way that dairy in your head can come out just make sure scratch your hair well and we are almost done You know, the simplest way after you do this and wash the conditioner out is you can just moisturize. I mean, your hair would already be moisturized, but you can just put in your leave-in conditioner and oil or any cream of choice after you put in your leave-in conditioner and you would be good to go. If you want to deep condition, and stay tuned so that's it you can just massage your scalp scratch it scrape it don't scrape it because you're gonna hurt yourself yes uh, it is so nice so so nice. when your hair feels dirty you feel like a mad woman you can't even think right that's why you need to wash your hair so that's it I'm just gonna wash this if you want you can let us be in for 15 to 20 minutes 30 minutes but because I would deep condition my hair today I'm just gonna wash this out and we will come back for the deep conditioning okay I'm done washing the conditioner out of my hair so now I'm gonna deep condition my hair at this point if you don't want to continue with a deep conditioner which I mostly do not do these days I just go in with my leave-in conditioner I can use a can and shea butter or I go in with any um, other leave-in conditioner any brand that I want to use and I put on my um, my oil if you want to see how to do that you can watch my video on how to moisturize your hair and after this stage you assume you have put water in your hair so you can put leave-in conditioner and oil or any cream of your choice and so this is my hair I'm gonna use natural products to deep condition my hair I'm gonna use two eggs and mayonnaise so, these are my eggs I'm just gonna use the egg yolks so I will egg yolks they are two you see them right here I'll just put them in this container you can use any mayonnaise you want this is olive oil mayo you know the quantity you want to apply depends on the volume or the density of your hair so this is what I have over here I'm gonna mix everything normally when you apply this to your hair it's gonna drip drain all over you so I learned this the hard way you want to make sure your hair is dry because if there's water in your hair you cannot keep this in your hair 
even for 15 minutes. I'm going in details because this is a video for beginners and I want you to know all that you can do and how easy it is for you to wash and deep condition your hair. You know, before I used to deep condition my hair every week when I started doing my natural hair, but uh-uh, no more, I don't have time. I don't remember the last time I deep conditioned my hair. Formally, I have said that I will deep condition my hair every month when I wash my hair, but trust me, that's not what is going on right now. I don't remember the last time I deep conditioned my hair. But at least I'm showing you today. So good for me, good for you. So I would section my hair the same way. And just apply. I don't want it to be soaking wet because if it is, it is going to drip down all over your face. And I've already told you that is not a pleasant experience. Having egg you dripping down your face, you feel like egg. Like an egg. So, just twist in another section. You know, egg is not really expensive. These days with the corona, it has gotten expensive, but at least it's cheaper than other products and um, it gives you a great result. And I also, I don't know how true this is, but I also believe that deep conditioning your hair is also a way to, up. it's also like, um, doing what there's also a protein treatment because egg you know contains some protein that's what I personally think there's some science behind that I don't know that's just my thought you can let me know if you believe that to be true in the comment box but I don't want any negativity if this video is too long for you skip it it means you are not a beginner this is for beginners and this is for people who want you know an easy way out you don't want to do too much you want to get a great result, but you don't want to do too much. This is just to help those people. If you find this video not helpful, it means it's not for you. Don't comment negatively. Um, just in one. Nobody has time, so if somebody makes time to help others, I think you should appreciate and here to help. Okay, yeah, just make sure the strands are coated because um, you apply it, it just apply it to the outer hair, but not the inner one. So just open them up, squeeze them, and make sure you apply it to all the strands. If you have a short hair, you can just put everything in at once. That's pretty easy. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the link with other people whom you think might benefit. Sometimes I use three eggs. Today I just used two. You don't have to use three or two. Even. You can use one, depending on the length and the volume of your hair. Um, but two is not bad. And you can use only eggs. And I put my hair in a plastic cap.
you can let those be in your hair for 30 minutes one hour you can just be walking around your home cleaning you know cleaning your bathroom your kitchen cooking watching tv watching movies you can do whatever you want and the egg um the egg would be working on your hair it would be working on your hair it would be working on your hair and 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 by the time you realize your hair would be all grown thank you oh no your hair cannot go in a day it's just with patience just be patient with your hair so yeah i will see you in a minute after this one i'm just gonna wash it out and put in my leave-in conditioner and everything else so I'll see. okay so i washed the egg out of my hair be careful to use cold water because if you use hot or warm water the egg is going to cook in your hair and you find a lot of white particles in your hair let's see i hope i don't have that yeah you see like this even this one i use okay this is just like the egg that i put in my hair originally but if you if you use hot or warm water to wash your hair you will end up with these in your hair and it it's going to be a lot and it will be very hard for you to get rid of it or if you put your hair under a warm dryer it's going to cook in your hair and you will find all these in your hair it's not going to be pleasant because you cannot eat those you see there's a little one here too you see oh yeah because i think when i put the plastic cap on my hair it generated some heat so the egg began to cook in my hair i think so you see but just make sure you wash your hair thoroughly because otherwise the egg is gonna stink in your hair it's not gonna be too nice yeah but if you wash your hair thoroughly it should be fine yeah so that's it see feels pretty clean very clean and yeah i had a lot of product in my hair before washing or cool washing but it feels so clean see that yeah my hair feels very clean that's what you want clean hair clean scalp so basically that's it and you can just moisturize it at this point i will just go in with my can too i'll do a section by section just make sure you put a lot of product at the end because you don't want to lose your ends you want your hair to grow longer and healthier Be careful after you twist because if you don't take care of it's gonna tangle. After this, you can just put in oil, but I love to go in with my African shea butter. This is original shea butter. You can get it from beauty supply store. 
I got this one from Ghana. So, this is not the actual container, I just put it in this. Normally they just sell it like that and you put it in your own container. So. It improves the elasticity of your hair. You normally don't want to put it on your scalp because it's going to build up and it's going to cover up you know, your scalp, which is not good. It's going to make your hair dirty very early. So just put it on your hair. And at this point, sometimes I like to go in with my hair cream. This is Jeba. It's also from Ghana. You can get it from um, some African stores or any lotion that you want. You can put this in your hair when it's dry but because I don't normally leave my hair dry and this really helps grow your hair. I can just put a little bit in it. It really grows my hair. It's a very good hair lotion or hair cream for growth. So. I can put that one too before I finally put my hair oil. This is Jamaican black castor oil, stimulating growth oil. I just put that in my hair as well. I'll section it. No, no, we're bank robber. This man is a gangster. Bukum bankum boxer. I'm sorry, I'm a bad. But I'm a bad size. I do it. We are stuck on the gun jump. Basically, that's it. So, this is a very easy, cost efficient, and time effective way of washing my gear deep conditioning it and moisturizing it so basically this is it you can style your hair any way you want i don't know what i'm gonna do right now so yeah but that's it i'm just gonna put it in big twist and i'll think of what to do with it next because of coronavirus i'm indoors so um, not much to do with my hair just look at the back I don't do wash and go because my hair is very kinky. I will lose all my hair. It's all gonna shed if I do wash and go. Plus, I don't want to be looking like this walking outside. Like, what is going on? Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Like love this video if you like it no negative comments i don't have time i just did this to help and it's detailed because it's a beginner's video so if you dislike it it means it's not a video for you just go pass by and um, no negative comments thank you bye god bless you